Hello, ladies. Sorry, I'm a couple of seconds late here. I um, was answering posts and lost time, which is awesome since today um, we're talking all about time in the Facebook group. So there you go. Um, if you're if you've been on the group today and have been making your posts and doing the comments, thank you so much. Like you guys are super helpful, and people have just been like just doing amazing things. I'm so excited to see what's going on. So congratulations. And not to take a lot of time, but if, just FYI, if you are on the call, tell me hi so I know that you're here. And otherwise, I just am going to answer a couple of the questions I've gotten this uh, week. And then we're going to get off this call so you guys can get back to everything you're up to. Uh, so the, the two big questions I've gotten and they were both around time, is the first one was, I swear I don't have the time to do what I need to do. And the other one was, when I take time for myself, I end up getting stressed. Hey, Susan. Um, and so I'd rather just get all my work done and take care of everybody instead of feeling stressed about taking care of myself. So that wasn't exactly a question, but there is a question in there, absolutely. So let's talk about first, um, finding time. Um, good afternoon to you too. Thanks for being here. So time's a funny thing, right? We've got this whole love-hate thing with time. You know, there's finding time, creating time, making time, all this other stuff. Um, really for me, time just comes down to one thing. And it's, well, it's two things actually. One thing is prioritizing. Like we all have the same amount of time. So it's where your priority is. and so priorities change and they can change in a heartbeat. Let's say that, um, like for me, a few weeks ago when my dog got sick, my priority changed. So I chose to not have the time to, or not use the time to go out and do some of the runs that I would normally have gone and done, but instead I you know, took care of her. So that happens, right? But in general, in general, Prioritizing and scheduling is what's going to get you the time. Uh, because if you go to bed and, oh, how many times have you heard me say this? But if you go to bed the night before, knowing what your day brings the next day, then, and being ready for it, like ready for it, like this morning, I had my exercise clothes out and my water bottle and all of that stuff because I knew that it was going to be a busy day. And if I didn't do it, um, and if I didn't, if I wasn't ready mentally and physically, prepped and ready to go, then the possibility of not finding the time was pretty high. So um, especially since I don't normally go on Tuesdays, but I skipped Monday because uh, of the race on Sunday, I wanted to just give my body a quick rest. So think about it. Prioritize and scheduling. That's what's going to find get you the time. And being a little flexible. I I I am I am so I'm going to say something that doesn't make sense. I am so much not a believer. Like <laughs> I do not believe in um, in just being so hardcore about what you're doing that you have no options around it. And for instance, like for my friends, and I have lots of friends who um, train for triathlons. And, you know, I used to do them and enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. But what I found, and the reason I have a but there, is that I didn't have any ability or any, I'll say time, in my world to um, allow anything else to come in. Like, I was super scheduled, and by gosh, that's what I was going to do, and this is the way I was going to do it. And it was really, I was really hardcore about my schedule. And I've gotten a whole lot more flexible now. Uh, if I was to train for a marathon, then hey, Shelly, then I would, I would get back to that. If I was training for a marathon or an Ironman or whatever it was, I would definitely have to get back to that super, super hardcore. This is my schedule. And by God, this is what I'm going to do. But when you're a little bit more flexible with um, your time and your priorities, and I, I sound like I'm saying two different things, but um, when you allow a little flexibility in your life, and then you allow some of the magic to come in, that might not happen otherwise. Case in point, this morning, I was, you know, on my way out the door to go to the gym, and, and you've all heard it, you know, my dog has been sick, but she was feeling pretty good this morning. So 
normally I would just let Phil take her this morning and I'd handle it at night. And I was like, no, I'm going to go for a dog walk. And I did. And it was fun because she was feeling better and it was, you know, kind of like old times. And so it was, it was a little magical moment for me. And then, you know, I got back and I went to the gym and I was a few minutes later than I would have normally been, but be willing to give yourself a little bit of flexibility. Um, and then that leads into the other piece of time. And that is stress less. Okay. Just stress less. And you may have heard me say this before, but there's an old band, I think, I don't know what they're from the 80s or 90s, they're called the Subdudes, and they have a song called I Have All the Time in the World. And pretty much when I catch myself getting uptight, I am running late, I am uptight, I don't have, you know, this is, these are the words, I don't have time for this. Like, you know, I, the cat's thrown up on the carpet. I don't have time for this. Like, you know, that one, when you're at that point. Um, when I get to that point, when I'm remembering who I am, I just stop and I start singing that song to myself, like, you know, and I'm not going to do it here because even I have, even I have a line in the sand on the goofiness I'll do. But um, yeah, I just, I just start reminding myself that I really do have all the time I need and that I make my schedule. Even though we have jobs, we have families, we have responsibilities, we have all those things. We are the ones who really make our choices and make our schedules. So we do have the time. Um, it just doesn't always look the same for everybody, and it's not always the same every day. So think about it. Like when you get to that point where you're you're stressing about not having enough time, um, you're stressing about being late, you know, all of those things, in the big, big picture of things, they don't matter. They just don't matter. Like it's take a deep breath center yourself, and stress less. So let me ask if anyone has time. I'm sorry, if anyone has questions. <laughs> I've got like total time brain right now. Um, anyone have questions on this? Because I am really keeping this one short because people are, are out doing things. I would love to see while um, y'all are, you know, listening to me yak, let me know if you're doing something else. Like, are you doing, I know somebody the other day told me they were doing nitros and squats while they were um, watching the Facebook Live. You know, let me know. And um, also, let me know if you have questions about this. And the email that's going to go out today in just a few minutes after we uh, get off this call, what I'm asking everyone to do is just stop for a moment today and Find the time to do something that you really want to do for yourself, like whatever it is. And just like, just stop. Whether it's five minutes, like for me, like I stop about five minutes three times a day and just do some appreciation. Like I'm just appreciate. Like because when I appreciate, then what I notice right away is that stress comes down. Um, I quit worrying so much. I don't think, oh gosh, you know, am I going to be late for this or that? It's just like, it's just appreciation, you know, like appreciate the fact that like, I live in Houston, Texas and it's not 90 degrees today. It's cool, right? <laughs> for anyone who lives in Houston, you understand like it's been brutal. Um, or, you know, the, the fact that I have, I get to work from home. I can appreciate that. And like, there's just so many little things and big things. So just like, stop for just a couple of minutes today and do something for yourself. Um, it doesn't have to be a big time grab, but just take a few minutes. And, and I also mentioned that like one of the things would be just to go for a little walk. And when you go for that walk, wow, do it without talking to someone on the phone or without listening to a podcast or without listening to music. Just stop and appreciate. So um, anything else? Because I am going to jump off. I just want to recap very quickly. Uh, as far as today goes, we are talking about time. And with time, part of that is we all have 24 hours a day. So it's how you prioritize your time. Um, if you want more time, schedule. Just schedule. Like do a little bit of um, pre scheduling for the day before, next day, and it's going to make things so much easier. And then when you feel like you're out of time or whatever it is, then just step back, 
take a deep breath, do a little appreciation, um, do some exercise, move a little, and then just chill. So thank you all so much for being here today. Uh, we will have on Friday, I think, we have a special guest, which is Michelle Drylick. She's a fr good friend of mine. She is the CEO of Destiny Well, which is, um, they do a home uh, testing, like a blood testing. And she also has something that I've been one of her guinea pigs for. It's called, I think it's, don't tell her, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Ageless LX. But um, it's like a muscle enhancement. So it like, you know, no, it's not a steroid. It's not a steroid. Just kidding. Um, but it is, it is some stuff that uh, we miss a lot of times when we're trying to build muscle. So, but it is not, just so you know, it is not a sales call. She is here to answer questions about um, aging well. So thank you guys for being here. And I will see you, I think, on Thursday myself. So have a wonderful week. And keep up the amazing, amazing stuff everyone's doing in the group. I'm super proud of everybody. Thank you. Hey, Bonnie. I'll um, catch, catch the replay. And thank you. I will see you all soon, okay? Bye-bye.